Welcome to Murtech here at SMT AI. Uh, delighted to be joined by Brian D'Amico, my old friend. How are you? Doing great, Trevor. It's always good to see you. Yeah. Okay. So, obviously, you've had a, a busy time bringing in a lot of new machines over recent years, uh, optimizing them with your uh, agreement with uh, Kogiscan and Connect and all that type of thing. Yes. How is that going? That's going great. What we did was we, it was a joint venture we did, what was called TRMS, which is Total Remote Management System. Mm -hmm. So the whole goal is really to collect the data from the entire line and to use that data in order to make your line more efficient. Basically make the manufacturing process as efficient as possible. Mm -hmm. So that all starts with data, right? You really don't know what's happening until you get all the data, collect that, and find out where the holes are, right? Where are the issues in your production line? Mm -hmm. And that's what TRMS allows us to do. So we align with Kajuscan because Kajuscan has got a really good, really good control over, it's actually, one of the best track tracing control companies out there. So that connectivity with other machines is really what we want to do. Rather than reinvent the wheel, because mm -hmm. there's so many different players out there, so many different inspection companies and pick and place companies and mounters, et cetera, all these things, right? You want to be able to connect to all those and collect data from all those. And this way here, you take all that data and like I said, make the line as efficient as possible. That's very true. I mean, when you go into any factory, they've got, they've got a complete smorgasbord of different machines in there. You don't know which ones you're going to be connecting to. So having having a system like like that is, is very helpful. Exactly, it's very important. And especially since you know there are different options right now. There's a couple of different standards or proposed standards like CFX. But when you're talking about legacy products, a lot of my customers have got some older systems. Those legacy products it's going to be a little difficult to, to you know get them to work with CFX. You you have to. It all comes down to what's called middleware, right. and that's really what. Kajuscan brings to us is that middleware option. It's very important. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, so presumably all, all your machines from here forward are, are CFX compliant. Yeah. Yes, and yes. And I, most vendors are making their machines CFX compliant. Yeah. Having said that, there's also some some vendors out there that are doing a little bit of pushback that they're not adopting CFX. Hmm. We have to be able to talk to those as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's interesting. So what, I mean, you talk about people that are using other forms like SexGen or something like that. Yeah, I see. things like that. Okay. And you know, some companies would prefer those kind of things. But no matter what, we have to be able to once again communicate with everything out there. We really have no choice. And that's really where our Industry 4.0 is going, is you have to be able to communicate with all the machines. So that's something that we really don't have that luxury of saying, you know, we're just going to deal with this one type of standard, because that, right. that, inalienate, that alienates my customers. We have a lot of customers out there. There's like 13,000 machines out there. So quite frankly, we have to be able to provide all that new technology, all that new connectivity to all of our different customers, right? But, but standardizing the, connect, the connectivity, whether it's through um, CFX or 6Gen or whatever, at least does that cut down the amount of time that you're having to spend programming patches when you sell a piece of equipment? Yeah, one of the things that is good about that is, is when you do have standards, because right, there's so many different ways that you can achieve connectivity, right? But there's so many different machines, and you have to be able to communicate with those machines. If there are more machines that are adopting standards, that makes every vendor's life easier, and it makes the manufacturers, you know, the contract manufacturers, OEMs, who are building these boards, it makes their lives easier as well. So I agree, it's nice to have standards, but let's put it this way, you've heard the name standard, you've heard that word standard. Well, if there's five, six different standards, that's not really a standard, right? Yeah, so, so it's kind of nice to get that down to as few as possible, right? But you're still going to have to deal with different types of communication that we really can't achieve with a single standard. So let's turn our attention to what's what's new with Murtech. What's 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 new here and what's coming down the pipe? Okay. Well here, quite frankly, there's no new systems at this show. Uh, Prototronica is coming up, so we are going to be showing a new system there. But here what we have is we have my MV6 Omni and we have my MS11E. So MV6 Omni is my AOI machine, the MS11E is my SBI. What we have done here, though, is we've modified the MV6 Omni. We've actually added three frequencies to it, which allows us to deal with small devices as well as taller devices. A lot of my competitors really haven't been able to achieve that with their systems. It requires new hardware in order to do that. Where we were able to achieve that through basically software, software manipulation. So what sort of Z height have you been able to get? We can do up to 25 millimeters tall. So anything from an 0105 to a 25 millimeter tall device. We also introduced a movable Z axis, which allows us to focus now on the top cells of the devices. So if you have like a tall device, like a 15 millimeter cap on there, we can now read it clearly. So your focal depth for small devices is going to be very small, like five millimeters. Well, if you start looking at a very tall device, like 15, 20 millimeters, pretty fuzzy. So we actually just introduced a movable Z-axis to our MV6 Omni product, and that allows us to move up the Z-axis and focus on taller devices as well. 
And the goal here is once again, once you have the board in the machine, you want to verify that everything is 100%. And that includes doing OCR, binary inspection, well, binary would be polarity inspections for taller devices. You want to be able to do all that stuff. So that is new to the system as our movable Z-axis on the MB6 Dominator. We have also worked with some new software as well. We have what's called OIT, which is basically it's a means of maximizing the efficiency of the debug process as well, and TRMS as well, so we have our software here for that. But at Prototronic is where we're going to be showing off some new hardware. We have what's called our alpha system, and this is a very unique system out there. Basically, we've adopted a hybrid inspection technology. It's the first in the world, and what this allows us to really do is to provide 100% accurate data, which is very unique. What that means is that the data is, and I like to use the sushi principle, raw data is better data, right? Okay. The less data manipulation you do, the better it is. Now, we've always been really good at that with Murtech, providing the best level of data we can. But in order to deal with some of the new complex boards that we have, right, in order to deal with a lot of the wafer level systems that we're seeing, we see, we see AOI now, we have SMT, wafer level, through hole devices, in order to deal with that full gambit, we really needed a new technology, and that's where our alpha machine comes into play. So we're kind of jazzed about showing this machine at Prototronic, I'm looking forward to it myself. We really look forward to seeing that. So uh, yeah, we'll look forward to seeing that, the alpha machine in a couple of weeks in yeah, Prototronica. A couple of weeks, it's coming up soon. There you go, soon. there you go. Not yeah. a couple of November, but it's coming up soon. You heard it here first, there you go. Visit Murtech at Prototronica. <laughs> Good to see you, Brian. Nice seeing you as well, Trev, thank okay. you. Thank you.